this video I'm going to show you how to find and download good creatives to use for your dropshipping products. In this video I showed you how I find my winning products, so definitely watch that if you don't have a good product to test yet. So the first place we can go to find good creatives is on the TikTok Creative Center and this is actually the place where we looked for winning products. So what we can do is go to Inspiration, Top Ads Dashboard and then you just want to search for your product. In my case, from the last video, it was the pheromone perfume, so I'm just going to search pheromone perfume. The region doesn't really matter, so you can leave that blank. And you're going to go on last seven days to see what's currently running well. Now here you can scroll down and find tons of good videos you can use. You want to use videos that already have a um, good amount of likes. For example, this video is really good, it has 53,000 likes. And it's not like a video that has maybe like 250,000 likes where you know the product is going to be really saturated. Here's another good video, 8K likes. And you of course want to make sure that the product they're using in this video also is the same as the product you're going to sell on your website. Now the next place we can go look for good ad creatives is on the meta ad library and what we can do is just go on all ads all countries now as you can see we already have 11,000 results of course not all videos here are going to be exactly the product we found in the last video but we're of course only using these videos for the testing phase and as soon as we realize that the product is doing well we get our own videos. We can do that by um, hiring UGC creators or searching for influencers or even doing the videos ourselves. So using these videos we find is a great way just to test products really quickly. which is really efficient because we don't want to pay for UGC creators or for influencers or use up maybe t um, hours of hours to film the product ourselves if the product doesn't really perform well. Here you can't really tell which creatives are doing well but already the fact that they're using these ads shows that they must be profitable, otherwise they would turn them off, of course. And you can also um, determine the effectiveness of the ad if it's posted multiple times. Now here, of course, it's really easy to define if a video is doing well. Um, we have videos with 800k uh, views, 70k views, 300k views, even a few million views. You don't have to use the videos by themselves, you can also cut them together um, if you think they could give a good ad creative. Now to download TikTok videos is really easy, you just go on snaptick.app and then you take a video, maybe this one, and you copy the URL, you paste it into Snaptick, and you want to download HD with the ad, that's really important, video quality is pretty important for the ads. Nobody wants to look at the video that is pixeled. They're just gonna scroll right past it. And once you watch the ad, the video just downloaded instantly to your desktop. Now for TikTok um, Creative Center and Meta Ad Library, it's a bit more complicated, but it's doable. It doesn't take a lot of time. Now what you wanna do is just click on the video. Testing you is good. Then you want to right click and go on to inspect. Then you want to make sure that you select the phone version, so we can right click on the video, then you can press on inspect again, and you're going to find a link here, you're just going to copy that link and paste it. Just the the Voila, you already have the video and you can save it to your desktop. Now for Meta it's going to be a bit more complicated, we have to go on the ad itself, and here you can see it's been posted multiple, multiple times, so you know this ad is a winner. You're going to go on Add Details, and then you're going to right click, press on Inspect again. Then you're going to right click on the ad, Inspect, and you're going to copy this link and paste it just like so. And now you see this is not a movie file, so we have to go on our desktop. It's going to be saved in downloads and what we want to do is right click on it and rename it and just type in .mov, enter. And now you have it as a video file. Pretty simple, right? So that was it. Those are the three platforms that I look on to find good creatives uh, to test my products. Uh, and if you have any questions, just comment them down below. Thanks for watching.